Hello and welcome to another video review by thepilotreport.com. I'm Len Costa. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use a very simple and easy to use fuel calculator for pilots of small turbine aircraft and very light jets. The application is called AvioFuel. Now you'll notice when we open up the application, it's very clean, it's very, um, it's very neatly organized. And the first thing you want to do at the very top of the application is click on the uh, white menu and determine which aircraft you're going to be using. For this example, we'll go ahead and we will use uh, the Eclipse 500. Now what you'll notice at the very top portion where it says left and right, this is where you want to input how much fuel you currently have on board. So let's say for instance I've got 100, um, 100 pounds of fuel in the left tank and uh, 500 pounds of fuel in the right tank. Now, barring any fuel imbalances and conversations about that, this is just purely, uh, you know, purely a demonstration purposes here. Under the block fuel, block means how much you want total fuel after you've been after you've been topped off or refueled to whatever uh, whatever fuel quantity that you need. So, for instance, we want to say that we're going to need. Um, 1,200 pounds of fuel. I'm going to hit done. Now, there's a couple of things you can do here before we get to this to the slider and the uplift section. Next to uh, to the right side of block that says LB, you can easily select fuel units for fuel on board and switch between pounds and kilograms. Okay, and then one um, when you get to the slider, you could slide it left and right to get your fuel upload. Or you could just hit the small fuel tank on the left, and you'll see it decreases by increments of five, as we have set up in a menu I'll show you in a moment. Or you could hit the big fuel tank to increase it. Now, I just mentioned that the increments are set up in of five pounds. So if you come down to the very bottom to the sprocket, you'll see here that the settings are fuel gauge step is set to five. You could set it to one pound, five pounds, ten, all the way up to a hundred pound increments. If I set it to a hundred, you'll notice that when I either move the slider or press on the fuel tank, that it moves now by hundred pound increments. So what you'll notice next after the slider is the uplift section. What this is telling us is based on the fact that we have uh, 100 pounds in the left-hand tank and 100 pounds in the, uh, excuse me, 500 pounds in the right-hand tank, our total uplift here is going to be 600 pounds. 600 in the tank plus 600 added equals our total block of 1,200. Now, the question remains, how much do I put in the left tank? How much do I put in the right tank? Well, under uplift, you'll see L, 500, and R, 100. There you go. That's how much you'll tell the fueler to put in each, each tank. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, Len, that's pretty simple. I can figure that out in my own mind. Some of these you can. However, if you need to do a quick conversion, say, for instance, to liters, you'll notice that under the, um, under the uplift section, there's four tabs, L, USG, IMPG, and LB. So that stands for liters. To can make a quick conversion to liters, now you can tell the fueler 280 liters in the left tank, 56 liters in the right tank. If it's U.S. gallons, you just press U.S.G. Now 74 gallons in the left, 15 gallons in the right. Imperial gallons is the next tab, the third one over. Now that's, uh, you know, again, it tells you how much. And then we were using the pounds one at the very end there. To, um, the next thing to do is if your aircraft isn't in the uh, particular list up here is you'll click on the small airplane and you can come in here and configure your fleet. So if you want to add an aircraft, you press the plus button. You'll go ahead and you'll enter the name, the fuel capacity, and all the uh, fill in all the boxes here. Again, you can change things to kilograms, uh, pounds, imperial gallons. There's um, you know all these boxes are selectable so that you can set up your aircraft for whatever part of the world that you're operating in. And then under optional, you can set up some of these uh, some of these weight characteristics, which I'll show you how to use now. So we're back at the main screen and I was talking about some of the weight characteristics. One of the things that this application does have is a uh, weight calculator. So if you click on the calculator, you'll notice that we come to the flight ops page and you can enter some information in here such as your start and taxi fuel, how much payload, and how much block fuel. You'll notice right now that the gross weight is 6,029 pounds and our takeoff weight is 59.95. It says it's within limits. If I was to go ahead and input um, into the payload category, 
1,500 pounds, you'll notice that it's telling me I've exceeded my max zero fuel weight by 407 pounds. So this is just a weight calculator. It's not a balance calculator. Obviously, I suggest you do this, uh, you know, do this long form or manually the way you normally do, but this is just another quick way to actually back up and verify the information that you've input. So going back to the application, the very last function is all the way at the bottom right, this question mark. What this does is this is a quick help guide. Each area is selected. You just click on the box to tell you, hey, this is my airplane selection. Choose an aircraft from the list. Great. What does this thing, this slider in the middle do? Oh, there it is. Quick block fuel and input. Pretty cool. So a couple of closing thoughts on this application. Number one, I like it because it's really quick. It has a nice, clean user interface. It's extremely easy to use, and is really no, you know, really no getting, conf um, you know, mixed up in trying to figure out what you're doing here. So it's just a very easy, simple, fast, effective way to calculate fuel upload for uh, again for small turbine aircraft and very light jets. For more information or to download this application, you can visit thepilotreport.com forward slash aviofuel. That's A-V-I-O-F-U-E-L. If you've enjoyed this uh, video uh, review, please visit us on the website directly for more video reviews over at thepilotreport.com. Once again, I'm Len Costa. Thanks for tuning in to this video demonstration, and we look forward to uh, to sharing another application with you very soon. Take care.